beautiful. Nice. And for media corp assistant lead concept commissioning Rachel Ohm. We'll just give them a few seconds to get comfortable, get situated. Welcome. I don't know how it felt watching yourselves on the big screen. That one's have been pretty interesting. Okay, I'm gonna uh, start with the first question, and this one is for Koit and Joel Chu. So if you could grab the mics, guys. And uh, before we get started on the question, maybe you could tell everybody, uh, not that we really need uh, to know, we already know, but uh, your roles, the roles that you play. Uh, hi, everyone. Thank you for being here tonight. I'm Koyi playing Un A Chiang. Uh, in the second season of Tito Dao, I am uh, Un A Chiang is a hawk's wife, so I pass it on to Joel to a hawk. <laughs> hi, hi everyone, I'm Joel and I play a hawk. And as you guys can see, I'm Un A Chiang's husband. Or Not are yet. you? Okay. I mean, you, you guys watch season one, you guys should know. This is just a... a what, what's the term for it? A it's in kind between. of like a, in between yeah, yeah, yeah. what we, we saw before and uh, in this season, like two years have who passed. Who actually haven't watched been. season one? Yeah, who watched season oh, one? Wow, oh, wow, so many wow. fans! <laughs> Wonderful! <laughs> for those who haven't watched season one, please go back and watch season one. Then you'll understand season two. Absolutely, must see. So guys, I mean, you kind of led me right into that first question. Um, the last time you were together filming for the first season of Tito Dao, this was quite a few years ago. I mean, after so many years, what was it like to get back together on set and get acting again after the hiatus? I, I go first, okay. Um, <laughs> um, this, uh, as you can see, is a whole new cast. We have some similar, uh, some old faces, uh, like our director, producer, of course, Joel, and also Xavier, who uh, is not here today. But new cast, new story is actually, I feel it gives the story a lot more depth and a different dimension. And it gives the timeline a lot more, um, a different light and a different story to tell. Joel? Actually, you know, when you watch those Marvel films, whenever new films come out, then the whole timeline is changed. Then you that is a good analogy. So I, I suggest everybody wow. watch season one, right? You watch until the marriage, after Acham leaves the troop, then you watch this season, and then you go back to season one again. So you have a whole new perspective of You're the whole genius. show. You're a genius, so you just convert Tito Da to a Marvel film. Yes, that's good. Question is for Li Ping and uh, Ping Hui. 
You know, you guys are already household names on Channel 8. We all know who you are. But uh, here you are in an English drama series. In fact, ladies and gentlemen, this is Lee's first time in an English-speaking role in English drama series, right? Please share with us, how was that experience? Oh, okay. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> 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 I'm afraid there's nothing here. <laughs> yeah, everyone knows that I've been in um, acting, mm -hmm. in the Chinese drama, oh. over um, many, many... You see how I learned English? Decades, decades. <laughs> I only remember which is correct is decades. Yeah. Because I, I have to think of cake and chocolate. <laughs> chocolate, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Okay, okay. Sorry. I, I have to in introduce myself, right? Introduce my role in Tea Total. First, yes. I have to say I'm very honored and very happy and delighted when I first uh, invited to be part of Tea Total because I watched Tea Total season one. I like it so much. I'm so impressed. <laughs> so, uh, I feel so honored to be part of it. Yeah. So, in this season, I'm acting as a leader of a Wayang troupe, all female Wayang troupe called Siam Pui mm -hmm. mm. And after watching this first episode, you all know that you have to continue to watch out for a role, right? Yeah. Which is Suan Jia. Yeah. She has a big change in her personality. <laughs> Due to? I cannot say. <laughs> <laughs> because I want you all to continue to watch season 2 of Tito Da. Okay, Ping Wei? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> this is the way you sell a show. Li Ping is a professional. Yeah, I'm intrigued. Look at your past in that first episode. We definitely need to keep on watching. Now, for you, Ping Hui, um, you're also what we call a veteran. You're super experienced and super comfortable actually straddling both worlds, Mandarin and English. And you're also uh, someone who's familiar with being a director. And now you're back wearing your actor's cap in this particular series. So what was your experience like just jumping back into the English drama with this cast? Uh, when they first approached me, oh, by the way, I'm Ping Hui. Uh, my character's name is Richard Tang. Right? You haven't seen me yet, but I will appear in the next episode. And everything that goes around will be because of my decisions. Sorry. So I'm quite important. So, um, <laughs> quite, not quite. Not the most, but quite. So, uh, initially, when they approached me to act in this series, uh, I was very puzzled. Then they said there was there were too many young people, so they want some old people. <laughs> That's why they approached me, and uh, it was interesting. And I was relatively shocked when I heard that I was going to act with uh, Li Pingjie, you know, in English. So okay. they, they need an older, <laughs> older one to yeah. act with me? <laughs> no, no, no. But, um, one of the reasons why, why, why I was uh, quite uh, enthralled was because I was going to act with Li Pingjie in English. So uh, I was like, okay, how is it going to be? And I have to admit, the first day when I acted with her, it was so weird. It was so weird because uh, she has been, uh, she's, I've been acting with her for many, quite a few dramas, many dramas, and uh, it's always in Chinese. So this time when we need to converse in English, it's just so weird. But, but after the first scene, it was very fun, you know. Uh, because uh, she was totally in character and acting with these very young people, very young talented people. Uh, it makes me feel younger. Lah. <laughs> so it was fun. It was fun. I love that. Actually, it's not old. You guys are experienced. You're like fine vintages with the new wine. So everything goes together very well. Thanks for your answers. We're going to jump into our next question. And this one is for our director, Glenn, as well as uh, Nick Shen. But we'll start with um, Glenn. You know, we've heard so far a few interesting things that have come off the shoot. Um, can you share personally how it was like working with uh, the crew, the cast, and also directing this entire bunch of new and vintage faces? Oh, it's um, been interesting. Mm -hmm. They are very talented, that's for sure. I had a lot of fun uh, directing them. They brought a lot of things to the table. All the decisions up there, the characters, they suggest them. It wasn't my effort, they just do that thing. And uh, working at Lee Bing was fun also. I think uh, 
she trusted me enough to um, mind her English, I think. <coughs> but she did a good job, right? Don't you think? Yeah! And having this new cast, it brought a fresh uh, take to the whole Keto Gao thing. I think they had a lot of fun and it was very... F Some of the scenes were really funny actually. In season one, it wasn't that funny, but <laughs> this time I was quite funny, which is great. Yeah, yeah I noticed the humor right off. So good, so well timed. Um, my next question is for Nick. Uh, first of all, maybe you want to tell us who you play for those who are not familiar with your role. Hi, Dennis. Good evening, everyone. This is Nick Shin here. I play. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Such a warm welcome. Thank you so thank much. Thank you, thank you everyone. Uh, I played Sihu, alright, in uh, season one. So in season two, I'm back as Sihu as again. Like Sihu from another troupe since I hop. Yeah, so you're kind of the master with the whole Wayang thing. And here, you are also the Wayang consultant. I mean, you're very experienced with uh, that particular style. And so you are the consultant for the season as well. And um, what was your personal experience teaching and guiding everyone, especially the newcomers to um, the season? Uh, so in real life, I'm also a troop leader from Teochew Opera Troop. But uh, this is Hokkien Opera Troupe, so like Li Pingjie. Uh, we are so used to speaking Teochew. So um, we, we had another teacher, Miko, in our team and uh, guided the uh, new cast. Of course, Kuhu is good. In fact, just now I said she's very good with her movement. And uh, for Li Pingjie and Yi Xin and Natalie, they're all on more time. It's a kantan. Me too, me too. I mean, <laughs> this as well. So it's a bit difficult for, for them to speak in Hokkien, especially singing Hokkien opera, and Li Pingjie got that Teochew accent. <laughs> but of course, you know, they, they practice and they, they did really well. And one thing I really respect them, you know, we usually film overnight for the Chinese opera scene. Um, they need to wear uh, layers and layers of Chinese opera costume. I think you guys can try outside, you know, uh, putting on the opera costume. It's very hot. In fact, some of them, anyone wear the costume earlier? Was it hot? Quite a lot of you. Was it yeah. difficult? At least. We need three wardrobe assistants to put on, you know, for an, an artist. And I remember one, the first time we did the opera scene, um, only three artists, we thought one hour we can complete hair and makeup. It took us three hours. And uh, the artists, they actually put on the costume the entire night because during break time, they can change or they can take off the headgear. But they put on the costume the entire night just for filming. So I find that really amazing. So a big hand of, a big hand of applause for all the artists. Awesome. Okay. And you can really see it comes through in the uh, entire episode. Thank you very much for your um, answer. Um, this next one is for Shri, Sophia, Noah, Shran, and Natalie. So guys, feel free to jump right in and tell us what are the roles you play and also share with us what was your best experience about being in this uh, particular series? Shrey, go first. <laughs> Hi everyone, uh, I'm Shrey. I play a new character in the second season called Vijay Kapoor. He's a film director of the 60s, hotshot director, uh, thinks very highly of himself um, and has very wild visions for the kind of films that he wants to make uh, and that leads him to a lot of uh, unfounded trouble, <laughs> as you will see uh, in the next few episodes. Um, I had a blast in this series. I really enjoyed um, jumping into this comedic role and working alongside this fabulous cast. And I think, uh, you know, just be, I also watched the first season and I was thoroughly impressed. So when I was told I would get to be on this uh, second show, I was just looking forward to work with you. And, and when I got the chance and you'll see, uh, we had one little scene in this first episode, but as it, as it grows, I, I, I really thoroughly enjoyed that and it was, uh, a great time. I think uh, the chemistry with the cast really works well. So I hope you continue watching. Wow. Yeah, wasn't his comic timing so impeccable? So good. Yeah. Okay. Anyone else want to jump in? Sophia, Noah, Chuan, Natalie? Hi, everyone. I'm Sophia. And in this uh, series, I play a new character called Ifa. And uh, no, I don't talk like this in real life. <laughs> Put on a bit of an accent for me. <laughs> for Eva. And um, 
Yeah, so in this series, uh, my character, she's basically a movie star of the 60s. And as you all can see from the first episode, she cannot act. La. <laughs> so she's a little bit like, you know, she thinks she can act, but she can't. She's just kind of like relying on her looks. And yeah, I had a really, really fun time filming this. Um, I feel really lucky to act alongside all these people. Um, director as well was super easy to work with him. Very, very collaborative. He was very responsive to um, our suggestions, anything that we wanted to add to the scene or our character. He was always like, very like, um, very supportive. Thank you, Glenn. <laughs> and like, yeah. Um, yeah, and I'll, I'll, like also my chemistry with Shri, I feel, really flowed pretty naturally, so I had a really fun time working together. <laughs> yeah, most of my scenes were great, so. And my dad, and that was played by Nadi Putra, which you guys have not seen yet, but... Anyway, I'm rambling, right? Okay, Noah, you're next. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> Noah! Thank you, Sophia. Oh, Noah, go for it. Goodbye. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hi, everyone. My name is Noah, and um, I play Tony. So if I'm stuttering now, it's not because uh, it's not only because I'm cold. I'm super cold. But uh, after watching the first episode, I'm very scared of uh, Suanjia. <laughs> <laughs> the ending with the knife, yeah, very scary. <laughs> yeah, very nice. Scary. Okay, so um, yeah, uh, I played Tony, and uh, Tony is basically DJ's. Hello. Maybe we want to pass you another. Hello. Yes. Okay. Thank you. I hope that's better. Uh, I played Tony, and Tony is basically VJ's assistant on the set. So he's this um, all around very nice guy, and he just wants to get everything right and get everything proper. Uh, if you watch Pinocchio, he's like the Jiminy Cricket to Pinocchio. Okay, um, yeah, it was a huge, huge honor to work alongside everyone. Um, yeah, I feel very honored to be here. And um, yeah, I hope you guys catch up the uh, data episodes because it's going to be a blast. Yep. And uh, stay tuned to me and VJ's um, shenanigans on set. just want to add to that. So Noah and I actually go a long way back. Uh, mm. We served in NS together. Wow! Uh, we were in the music and drama company together and we used to host together. And we said back then, this was like 8 to 10 years ago, yeah. we said one day we must act together. <laughs> you know, we never got the chance and this is the first time we get to play this comedic duo. Uh, so it was nice to revisit that chemistry with you. And uh, I hope you enjoy it as much as we enjoyed making it. Yeah, it I just want to say um, thank you to Glenn for being an amazing director. Um, it's hard to find directors to really listen to the cast. Yeah. And uh, it's very responsive. And, and let us play, you know? Yeah. yeah. So it's. The reason why it's so good is because the director is amazing, right? So, yes. That's all for Behind a strong cast is an even stronger director, huh? <laughs> Alright, next, Shen. You want to jump in? Hi, I'm Shen Ong and I play Ahun uh, in this season 2. And uh, Ahun is actually a fortune teller, spirit media. <laughs> Basically, Real or not? Real or not, you are you'll see, fortune teller. Spot on and accurate with her predictions and readings, but we'll see. Uh, most importantly, she develops to be Acham's friend, and basically she lives in a temple, and you know people come and go, and uh, she doesn't take life too seriously, and yeah, uh, very grateful to be here, and very grateful to Glenn because he really made me like like he gave me freedom to really create whatever I wanted and. Really free reign to play and see different what we can come up with. So the the character was really created together. Yeah, so very grateful to be here. <laughs> Thank you. Last but certainly not least. Hello, hello everyone. My name is Natalie and I play Pao Hui in uh, Tito Tao season two. So um, I was actually very happy when I know that I'll be playing the role of Pao Hui um, because I get to work with a lot of uh, Veteran actors like Li Pingjie and uh, Acham. I work with Corinne and they really taught me a lot. Um, of course, I learned to act uh, with Glenn. He gave me a lot of guidance, and I think it's just a really very comfortable cast to work with. Um, everyone's very friendly and they just give inputs on how to improve um, on set. 
Um, and of course, I hope you guys will see how Siang Puyat develop um, with Sanjay as our leader and um, with Acham joining the group. True. Thank you. Thank you, Natalie. There's so much love amongst this cast and the creators. What? There's no juicy gossip, no dirt to dish. Oh, so much love. But that's, I guess that's why you all got on so well and it really came through in uh, the actual series. And yeah, we're definitely anticipating the rest of uh, the season. There's, okay. there's actually some dirt between the... Oh. Oh. Oh, 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 Pingui. So you want to in, share? Yeah, in this show, in this show, right, uh, me and Suan Jia will have something from the past, oh. right? So whatever it might be, you have to keep watching because it's a very, very interesting story. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, that's the dirt. It's actually quite dirty in the past. <laughs> there's dirt, there's gossip, wait, and wait, it's wait, all wait. How come I don't know about it? <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember filming those scenes? <laughs> no, I don't know about it. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see. That's what we, we didn't get to act it out, so there were younger versions of us. So, <laughs> unfortunately, unfortunately. Oh. Yeah. Well, lots of flashbacks. Okay, thanks for the hot tip. Okay, so you know you're gonna have to watch uh, to find out what's going on between the two of them. Okay, my next question is actually for Rachel. So, you know, the first season of uh, Tito Tao was such a success. It was so well received that MediaCorp thought, okay, we need to bring it back for a second season. But besides this massive appreciative fan base, why was MediaCorp so interested to just uh, continue with the storytelling of um, uh, Achiam and the rest of the characters? I think we can see here we have so much talent in Singapore, we have so much talent in this region and um, I think it's always been on our heart, in MediaCorp's heart, to celebrate these talents, whether they are on the screen like you see or even in theatre. Um, I mean, you all know that Tito Tao is based on this Wayang star called Un Achiam, it's her life story that we're trying to um, honour and, and take inspiration from. And that's exactly what we want to celebrate, the local arts, local culture, local heritage, local talents, local creativity. And we hope that, uh, sincerely hope that you guys um, appreciate all the hard work that's gone into this production and enjoy it very much. Thanks so much, Rachel. Okay, I've got a quick question for Koyit. And uh, this is a very important question. This is the clincher and everything hinges on you now. Okay. <laughs> I just want to ask, okay, if anyone were to ask, well, why should I even watch this? Why should I bother watching Tito Dao, Dawn of a New Stage? What reason would you give them? I have to say I watch a lot of TV and I don't think I've seen an episode where I can cry and then laugh and then watch in awe all in one episode. And if that you can see in one episode, imagine the things you can see in the entire season. Yeah, well said, well said. <laughs> um, I actually also uh, want to use this opportunity to thank Madam Un herself and her family and her son, Gutek. They are not here today, but they are <coughs> supporting us in spirit. And this show wouldn't have been able to have season one and two without them. The story was inspired from her lifelong experience in Street Wayang. And also, um, Buntek himself, he was the director and the producer of T Total stage play. So uh, I want to thank his family for this moment. We won't be here without them. Yes. Also, uh, for our producer, uh, Lim Sat Yen. Uh, she was the one who, who brought it into the screen. She was the one who said, okay, you know what? Let's take this chance. Let's do it. Because I understand and I know that the people in Singapore will want to watch it. And also Media Corp for believing in all of us. Really, thank you so much. And thank you for all your support too. I, I can't... It, it, it makes me so happy to see people here who has watched season one and are still here today and saying like, oh, oh, season one is so good. I'm excited to watch season two. It really makes me very, very happy. We put all our hearts and soul into it. I hope that you guys enjoy it. Thank you so much. Such heartfelt words and definitely.
it is a show that is inspired by real people, a real family, a real troupe, and um, you guys are really the torchbearers for an incredible legacy. So thank you for that. Um, I think we are running out of time, but I think we can squeeze in a couple more questions. Um, I have one that's come in from uh, social media, and I do believe it's from somebody called Vivian9622. And Vivian wants to know, what was the most challenging? So, you know, we've heard about the best experience, the fun stuff. What was the most challenging experience? for you guys uh, taking part in this particular series. If anyone wants to jump in to answer this question, feel free. They're passing the mic now. <laughs> Who do you want to hear from? Just shout out a name. Koi, Koi, Koi again. <laughs> <laughs> the most challenging thing. Um, honestly, I, yeah, just just because of how successful season one was, definitely I felt pressure to carry my character well and be an interesting enough character for season two. So that was my personal challenge. Um, what other challenges? Oh yeah, yes. The soon. <laughs> a little bit. Actually, it, um, during the audition, I did not play Ifa with the accent at all. We kind of created that accent like along the way. I mean, I'm not trying to s stereotype like all you know Malay people have that kind of accent, but I just wanted Ifa to have to, to be different, I guess. Or it's different from any other character that I've ever played. So yeah. Um, what else? Well, I think it came across very naturally. It really gave your character a lot of flavor, so I think you got it yeah. just right. Yeah, I know what you guys think. <laughs> All right, anyone else want to jump in for the challenging question? Otherwise, we're going to throw it open to the audience and we'll take one question if anybody has one. Anybody else want to answer the challenging question? Well, I guess uh, for Vijay, as you can see, uh, he has a lot of energy that's directed in the wrong places. <laughs> and, uh, if you keep watching, he will get into a lot of um, crazy situations. And filming those situations was both physically and emotionally challenging um, because Vijay goes from zero to a hundred like that um, and sustaining that. So my, my challenge was I didn't want him to just come across as a, like a whining um, baby that just throws a tantrum. Uh, and you, you, I hope, I hope that as you watch the season, uh, you will see that there's more to Vijay just than, than his temper, <laughs> and and so that was that was physically and emotionally challenging. There's some uh, a lot of uh, quite acrobatic stuff that you know we get up to in the later seasons, uh, in latest episodes. So yeah. Yeah, and I think Nick also mentioned, wow, the layers and layers of the costume, putting it on for hours on end, sweating through all the makeup, but trying to, you know, keep your composure. That was pretty challenging, I'm sure, as well. Well, thanks very much for uh, jumping in on those questions. All right, so I'm going to just wrap things up with one final question. If we have any curious, brave audience members who have a special question for someone, just wave and we'll get a mic to you. Oh, we've got somebody um, over there in the back with the um, hat on and the glasses. Over there, you just keep waving. We'll try and come up to you with a microphone. And just uh, bear in mind, no personal questions. We'll stick to um, questions about the show, okay? Hi, thank you. Um, my question is that for the actors, do you find that it's a different experience looking back at how actors in the past acted and like, you know, the YM actors. Is it like totally different from how you act in modern day acting, I guess? And uh, one more thing is I have some flowers for Shrey. Yeah. You know, like all those things that people give. So, I'm gonna pass it on you if that works. Thank, Thank you. you. Yes, we will certainly take those flowers and anybody want to take the question? That was quite interesting. I feel like, is there a difference? I mean, obviously none of you were in the Wayang times, the 60s, you can imagine. But do you think there's a difference between playing someone uh, or acting in the 60s or back in that era and then how you portray your roles now? 
That is a big bouquet! Wow! Uh, bro, you know Shrey is married, right? <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> Just say it to me. He can still receive flowers. That's nice. Thank you very flowers much for that. Flowers from brother, man. <laughs> Uh, acting. We're talking about acting. Yeah. Well, actually, even for for our scenes, because we did quite a bit of research into um, the Pontianak films of the 60s, and believe it or not, I mean, Singapore's film industry was was very big during that time, and there were a lot of Pontianak films and these horror films. And if you if you look at the kind of acting of that time, it was very different. It was a very representational form of performance. Um, so we tried to replicate a bit of that, very gestural, um, showy kind of, uh, you know, they'll move with their arms and their bodies, like it's very showy, like, you know, I feel sad or I feel angry and I, you know. Um, so it's that kind of conundrum between uh, Ifa's character and, and Vijay, because Vijay doesn't want that, he wants to, he, he's kind of looking at a different style and she's, you know, ha has a different style. So I guess for, for our characters, it would apply in that way. Wow, we almost had a little acting masterclass there. Huh? The difference between film acting in the 60s and TV acting now. And I guess there's also a difference with stage acting, which I know, Shrey, you've also dabbled in as well, right? Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. Well, okay, on that note, we want to say a huge thank you to the cast and the creatives for being here tonight, giving us such great insights into what goes on in the making of a show like Tito Dao, Dawn of a New Stage. A massive round of applause for the cast and creatives. your rest. Thank you so much, cast and creatives. And for the rest of you here, the audience here in the Roxy Hall, please do stay because we've got some very, as well as exclusive premium subscriptions to me watch. So you definitely yeah. want to stick around for that. Okay, so we've got a round of trivia. I've got a few questions to ask yeah. you. And thank you so much, cast and creatives. We'll just uh, give them a few moments to take their leave. Okay, so let's um, run through a few of uh, the uh, rules of the uh, game. Basically, I'll ask a very simple question, and if you know the answer...